<laughs> it's something to celebrate. This is strategic. Let's start with Hopefully come back Black Friday. It'll come back to you. Do y'all know it's called Black Friday? Because most companies are negative all year. They go into the black that one day. They run a special and it's called Black Friday. Now they got a new one, Brown Thursday. I never heard of that. <laughs> I never heard we used to eat Thanksgiving dinner and chill out. Now the specials are when? Thanksgiving. You need eat you to move your dinner up. You know what? Flat screen's going on sale tonight. You eating dinner at 12 30. <laughs> So Brown Thursday, this is big business. Brown Thursday got you eating dinner early. Cyber what? Monday. 24th of December is what? Christmas Eve. 25th is what? 31st. January 1st. February 14th. March, the kids go on spring. April. May. June. July. September, October, November, we're back to Thanksgiving. That's crazy. Son. All the way around. That is fucking crazy. That it's is like, wild, son. When I first heard this video, honestly speaking, mm. it took me back to that conversation I had with my girl. After mm. the current time, she wasn't my girl. Mm. But I was having a conversation with her. I'm just like, yo, these holidays, it's just around to keep niggas broke. <laughs> and I started explaining it to her. I broke it like how he's basically breaking it down, like no lie on everything I love. I was breaking it down just like that. I'm like, yo, you, you got this what? holiday, and then the next month you got this holiday, and a couple weeks this holiday coming, and people mm. be going all out for something like St. Patrick's Day. It's like, nigga, what the fuck? You not having average? What the yeah, fuck yo, you doing? Like, and and that's crazy because <laughs> niggas really be sitting here celebrating this shit. Yeah. Like, you're not even Irish, like, but you in here drinking green beer. Like, really, bro, nigga? What like, are you come doing? on. So it's like, you know, like, if things like that, it's just like, I just like, when I looked at it, I'm like, nah, I gotta start an episode with this. And it's just like, because <laughs> I, I just, I remember saying it, like, and it's just funny why he said it, like, because the caption is like, the reason why people stay broke. Mm. And it's like, nah, it's a fact. Cause we celebrating holidays, we don't even need to celebrate. Nah. Like, you know what but, I'm saying? Like, and we, if, can, we can make up our own holiday. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, in reality, we could just, like, nah, we celebrating this because it's this. Like, or mm. we doing this because of this. Like, you know, like, like nah, Christmas, like, if you're not Christian, like, you, why you're you not supposed you to be celebrating to celebrate Christmas. It, yeah. Like, you so like, in reality, like, it's like Thanksgiving, you got to think, like, niggas was slaughtering niggas. Mm -hmm. like, like, this is what we celebrating. Like, mm -hmm. In reality, mm -hmm. like, this is what we doing, like Halloween. What's up with that, like? You know nah, what I'm saying, like. But it it all, it all comes back to like, <clears throat> not to make it like a political thing, but when you think about it, that shit is just straight consumerism, man. They they want you to stay broke. They want want to take your money, like mm -hmm. just a capitalistic type of society, like that ass. Everything is a money, money, money type of thing. Like, come on, man. Of course, I mean, like, I understand it in America shoes, mm -hmm. like. If I was like one of the niggas that had niggas of America, like mm. uh, I'll do the same thing because niggas is dumb. Yeah, like, yeah, no, for real though, saying. But when you think about it, like you said, niggas gonna celebrate. Niggas everything. gonna celebrate. What? Let me think. Niggas gonna celebrate Labor Day, Halloween, because it's the order: Halloween, yeah. Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. Christmas, and New Year's. Definitely. And then fucking Valentine's Day. Yup, definitely. That's a definite holiday. Right. Then Memorial Day. Right. Nick, like, like on, that, I'm so. talking about that, just that chain right there. Mm, like, yeah, that's, yeah. That's why months, like, back to back to back, back to back. back, back. back. Yeah. A lot of people is going to celebrate. Yo, hold on. I never thought about that. Like, bro, like, October. Because those, cause those are holidays that you definitely will celebrate. Like, a fucking nine out of ten times, you're going to celebrate it. Wow, yo, nah. <laughs> Tell you, man, nah. It's wild, son. It's 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 just crazy how 
it just makes you realize that you just gotta lock in. They, yeah. I think you just gotta lock in, cancel all that shit out. And you probably save it. so much money for the year. No, like, that ass. Imagine your expense on just like holidays, like mm. getting nah. everybody gifts at this certain time. Like, nah, well, I'm telling you, the year's coming with like people's just gonna be this. I'm sorry. <laughs> like birthdays is like it's, 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 it's already starting to happen. Listen, like, the birthdays is like uh, I you understand, know, like, but you just like, hopefully you give a, there's a lot more years you on this planet and mm-hmm. we can celebrate. But this year mm-hmm. right here, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't make it. Sorry, I can't Yo, do it. Listen, sorry, I, I can do a happy hour. You know, come on, let me clean nah, that. Fuck that. No, nope, like, sorry, can't do it. Sign, sign real low. I'm staying home. Sorry. Like, <laughs> Hey. Nah, but what was funny is that is, and that I said for this year, this is the year of just like saving. So it's gonna be a lot of no's coming out my, out of my mouth, like yeah, definitely. But nah, know. let me introduce the show. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning back. Just right here is the thirteenth episode of the twenty twenty podcast. I got my guest host, Uncle Kells, in the building. Know. You already and, know. You know, we just here about to kick this shit like usual. You know, um, rest in peace, my nigga Ken Dog. Rest in peace. No, my bad. Rest in peace, my nigga Ken Dog. Free my nigga Double O. Free my nigga Seventeen. You feel me? Out the nasty until they out that shit. You feel me? But um, yeah, man. That's enough about that holiday shit. You know, uh, we can nice. bring it somewhere else where we um. I think you had the first topic. I think you had some. I ain't no conspiracy theorist, but some shit don't be adding up. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say to you. I feel you. Some shit don't be adding up. Like them conspiracy theorist niggas, like sometimes they be like, oh, they be getting me. But then at the end of the day, it's like, how the fuck you know this, bro? Yeah. If nobody's supposed to have this information, how do you you, out of everybody is telling me this? Exactly. And and then you know what? I, I also do live by the code that there's no such thing as the impossible. Mm-hmm. Everything is possible. Like that's that's just that anything like, is possible. Like did, all this shit could be a lie. Where did you get this information from? No, like, that's for real. All I need to know. For real. Like, like no, how do you know these rappers is going into these mar- parties doing gay shit? Like, yeah, exactly. Have like, you been there? Did you it, do gay shit? It, like, exactly. Because if it's a it's, secret shit. Like. You should only know because you went in there and did some gay shit. You know, that's, that's how I be looking at these conspiracy niggas. Nah, I sound like, like, I don't yeah, know, man, like but. You took the sacrifice for your booty hole <laughs> to tell us all <laughs> that's going down. like And expose a couple people we might like as an artist. Like. Yo, man, listen, if, if you got to do all of that just to try to expose somebody, you are dedicated you yeah. are dedicated to whatever, whatever cause is your cause. You are dedicated to it. And nah, any man that's like, yeah, he's going to put his booty hole on the line? Like, hey, like for sure, like, he's dedicated. Like, Yo, I can't the say. Reporting to duty, I can't, nigga. I can't. Like, I can't not say, like, like nah. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know. <laughs> You did it so we ain't got to do it. So we ain't got to do it. <laughs> like, hey, like, facts. Like, no. But, nah, hey, a, man, like, you you can't just, man, nah, you can't just always be believing that joint. Like, nah, That's how real. I look at it. Like, nah. But, but I, I've always been, what's crazy is I've always been, which is why I got ass whoopings a little bit, even as a teenager. Because I wasn't always going to be the type of person that's just going to play. okay, yes, all right. That that's what it is. All right. No, I'm gonna challenge it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like w- why? Why do I have to do this? No, I don't have to do this. Like, but then you know sometimes you become a little docile because you get tired of being beaten. I, I wasn't getting abused. Just saying that. No, I, I wasn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, nah, but for real. Like, I just feel like sometimes you're told not to ask questions, and it's like why. Yeah. The fuck? Like, what the fuck you mean? Why? Why can I not ask questions? People get mad when you ask questions, which is crazy to me. But uh, facts. But nah. But talking about questions, how much conversations is too much? 
before mentioning she has a man. Hmm. Hmm. What you got to say on that? Damn. I got to go first. I mean, honestly speaking, and maybe I'm just a guy. I just feel like if it's a nigga and you know, like, I right, the first, I right, here's how it goes. If the nigga that is approaching her is obviously trying to bag, like, the first thing they say out of their mouth is, like, an obvious indication that they're trying to bag, I have a man. Mm-hmm. Now, if the guy comes up on some normal shit, just regular conversation, you know, niggas be weird. Like, people mm-hmm. be people. be people. Let me not even say mm-hmm. weird. Mm-hmm. People be people, so... They might be on some normal shit, just trying mm-hmm. to have a conversation, like mm-hmm. being, you know, like it's like if the conversation going normal, like once you start sensing, like I, right, this nigga trying, you know, like I just mm-hmm. feel like the girl got to, the the woman got to be smart, and and see like I, right, I see what you want, and then once the mm-hmm. time, yo, I got a man, like. I'm not here for that. Like I'm, I'm good. Like whatever you trying to be on. Like I feel like bottom line, you know, you know I'm trying to come at you. Like I ain't just you. And and then and then sometimes I mean, not sometimes they know. Yeah, they they know they're attractive. They know they cute. They know they beautiful and all that type of shit. But come on, son. Like especially I, when, yeah, especially when you fucking with somebody that look good. Like yeah, it's, it's like. like you should know. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not just approaching you on some like, I want to be your friend. No, I'm not. Like, yeah. come on, son. Like, that that should be an instant. But but then again, going back to what you said, I, I feel like the where, where it becomes kind of blurred is like, all right, let's say it was a coworker. <clears throat> let's say it was a coworker. But at the same time, you know, you talk you talking to the person, but. Y'all may flirt here and there, but then as y'all go, y'all don't really let it be known. You know what I mean? Like yeah, like it's, it's, it is what it is. It is what it is. Situation. Yeah, and then eventually, when there's gonna be a day where it's like it becomes serious, it's like oh, this person's dead ass serious. Like mm-hmm. this is the kind of time they on, and then you realize oh, maybe I'm on the same type of time, and then that's when she hit she she should hit you with that. Listen, you know, like, I right, this is my situation, blase, blase, and then, you know, from there. But I can understand, that's a moment where I can understand it because that's a relationship where it's like, it wasn't, it wasn't initiated on you trying to come at her. Mm-hmm. It was initiated on just a, a, a proximity type of thing where y'all always around each other. Like, the more and more y'all around each other, the more and more you, like, Oh, I you know I I fucks with her like I like her or, or I like him like you know that that's my thing that's how mm. I look at it you know okay okay um sipping some green tea right now some green tea yeah. like I'm trying to find my response but I don't think I have a response I'm not gonna hold you what's your topic. <laughs> <laughs> hold topic. on what was it like what was the topic we talk about. The topic I just said, right? Yeah. We still on that. Yeah. Like how much conversation? Is too much conversation. Too much conversation. Yeah. I I think I I I I gave my opinions earlier. Like I just want to make sure I'm mm-hmm. being on point. But fuck it. So so it. so 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 in your case, it's like initial. You already know what it is. You already like know what yeah. It, is. it shouldn't be like like it shouldn't be too much conversation because like, bro, mm-hmm. I don't want you to get your hopes up like. Mm-hmm. Even with, like, a female talking to me, like, let's put it in that situation, like, a female talking to me, like, I'm not about to sit here and, like, like, string you along, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, once I peep that you on that, like, mm. if, even if you're not on that, like, if you're even you're trying, like, I'm just not feeding into it, like, mm. you know, like, like, it's been moments like that where it's, like, like, they, what, like, they say something that's, like, as a single man, you're like, oh, okay. Mm. I see. It's time for, yeah, it's time, it's time for, for nah, it's time to you. activate. Like, nah. now it's like, you know, you see it and you're just like, 
Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. I've been there. Nah, you did a fake there. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. I've been there, and then and then low key, you you cut a little bit. You like it kind of cuts a little bit. Like shit, damn. I mean, it don't. <laughs> you know what you signed up right. for. That's how I look at it. You know what you signed up for. So it's like it's just, this is this is the moment where it's like, all right, this is, are you built for it? Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. Like yeah, now, this right. is the moment. Are you built for it? Like. She on your body. What you doing? What you doing? Yeah, no, it's true. It's right. true. It's true. And then, and then I'm a, I'm a, I'm a person of of karma. I I ain't gonna definitely fuck around with a, a, a get in the face. A, <laughs> yeah, nah. Not even too much nah, laughter. Nah. Like yeah. like two of them. <laughs> nope. Like you can't. Three is once too you, much. Like once you tell me you got a man, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So. You got yeah. I look boom as a single nigga. Yeah. If I'm talk, I'm trying to tell you you got a man. I'm good. Yeah. I don't like even if you're lying. I don't give a damn. Like, yeah. fuck it, whatever. Um, um, with that kind of karma, yo. But nah. in a relationship, is like if she. Cause I don't think females is. I don't really. You don't really meet too much bold woman when it comes to like. Wait, like, wait, wait, hold on. What you about to say? Say, hold up. I go, oh, if I she wanted to take my days off for a bit, say, what you about to say? Say, oh, I'm like, oh, what the like that? What this nigga about to say? Cause I'm like, hold, on, I'm, I'm, I'm a peeved a little bit. I don't even know if that's a word, bro. <laughs> Women is not like gonna go try to bag a nigga if they want a nigga. More times. Wait, what you mean? All right, if you like a girl, you gonna like probably go to your man's, probably talk about it, see like, all right, boom, boom, boom. If not, then you might talk to yourself about it, and then eventually you gonna go shoot your shot. I'm saying, all right, boom, topic. I feel like more a female is not gonna shoot her shot more than like a nigga, like like a female just try to talk to you and do dumb shit like. Like laugh at corny shit that you not even like shit not even corny shit shit that's not even funny that you saying like they do everything else like they'll show you the signs and want you to be like yo like mm. but more times they're not gonna like from my experience like I, I'm not gonna say there's n- there's none that happened like cause I dealt with females that's that that wanted to was, talk to me talk, and, and they, and they, they let it be known. They let it be known. You feel me? Like I, I will say this. I will say this. There's there's definitely some women that I've dealt with where I feel like they were more direct than some. Mm-hmm. And, and I think for for the most part. Like now that I'm thinking about it for the most part. There's only one there's only one time where I feel like the woman made did didn't make it seem like she wanted me like I wanted her. There mm-hmm. was one time, but then I realized that she was playing hard to get and shit. I don't know what the fuck that was a that was a sociopathic type of shit. Nah. She, Cause low key I came to find out that she was crazy. Back in like high school, middle school, the playing hard to get was the, like the tight, the blow, because as a in that age, it's like you don't you don't mind like mm-hmm. putting a little work Damn, in like hold yeah. on, let me I, nah, I really want this pussy. Like, mm-hmm. I really, I really, I, I'm gonna try like I'm, like you know the older you get, you just lose patience. Like nah, you're not about mm-hmm. to like <laughs> like I didn't have the pussy already. Like you're not about to like you know. <laughs> You're not about to have me out here, like, singing out your window, like, boys to men and shit like that. Like, no, like, like, what we doing? Like, nah, for real, no. we're young and horny. Like, that's facts. Like, so let's do this. Like, nah, that ass, man. Like, nah, I will I will say my, my, I mean, she ain't never going to see this, but I highly doubt she going to see this. But my, my first girlfriend, my first real girlfriend. It's like my high school sweetheart. She like she she was with the shits, but she was playing like she wasn't in school. She was playing like yo, 
Man, she, whoo, boy. She was just, I, I she was just waiting until she had the free crib, bro. Hey, hey, yo, nah, son, yo. Because there was some times where she would be the one like, so what's going on? And I'm like, oh, word. And then that's when I realized that there's some women out here that's like, you know, they be with the shits too. And there's definitely like, like older ages, like the ones that like want dick and just like make it like, right. mm-hmm. make it known like, yeah, this is what we doing. Yeah. Nah. No, that's it's facts. Really but the older ones always do that because, well, then again, not always because the one I'm talking, what, one of the other ones I was talking about was. She was you talking about talking was, to older people? Yeah. So what was the youngest to oldest that you dealt with? You, you mean like me being the younger part? Like yeah, like at what age was you talking to like your oldest? The, o- the oldest was I was like twenty eight, mm-hmm. and she was forty one. She was forty one years old. Okay. See, I was like, let me see. I think it was like two thousand fifteen, maybe. Let me do the math right quick. Hold on. <laughs> I was like 23, 24. She was like 40. Oh, damn. Like, Shit. Like, <laughs> and then, yeah, like. Nah, 40, though? But it wasn't like, I'm going I'm to keep it honest. It wasn't like she was like a drop dead. Like, it's just like, oh, shit. I'm ah, forty old one told to a nigga. Ah, you know it's one of those moments. It's like a, a ego booster. I'm not gonna hold you like you feel me. So it's like, um, yeah. But it was cool. I just feel like it's a moment. Like mm. it was, it was, it was cool. Like I enjoy. I had the experience to you mm. know. But overall, I feel like. I think we went off track to the top of we talking this first of all, but fuck it. But like this I just feel like overall like Disclaimer, we are some stoners. We are like but now, yeah. like it's cool. Like I think relationships mm. is cool. Like Nah, for real. I think it it levels you out. Mm. You know. Like Nah, it definitely levels you out where I feel like you kind of have an understanding, cause, cause my my experience with the older woman is you have an understanding that yo, you think that because you're dealing with an older woman, that she could be the, a lay ass. Older. Yeah, yeah, no, no, the, nah, no, that ass though, cause I feel like you feel like you're dealing with an older woman and it's gonna be different situations as if you're dealing with a woman that's the same age as you or younger than you, mm-hmm. and you realize sometimes it's the same fucking shit. Mm-hmm. It's all about if they have transitioned into their adulthood, into their grown adulthood, where they've they've done some healing, they've done some, you know, some work. Like, nah, but they, I've dealt with older women where they've brought along the same type of baggage that someone of the same age as me or even younger than me would have done, you know? Mm-hmm. Nah, it's crazy, man. But you know, that brings another topic. What is like? What would be your your cutoff of like having a younger partner or anything like that? Like, what would be your like? Cutoff? What's the youngest? Yeah, like what's the youngest? I ain't gonna hold you. Like maybe like twenty, twenty six, twenty seven, maybe like twenty seven. Like, like I don't know. I just can't. I see myself talking to anybody in that young state of mind, like nah. Like even if it's on some shit, you talk to them like nah. You seem a little mature for your age, like no. It's like it's it's a, it's it's a, it's a hoax. Yeah, like, it's a hoax. <laughs> nah, like, I I honestly I agree. Like, I agree because not gonna get me like because not because not honestly at my age, and I ain't gonna put it out there, but fuck y'all. No, <laughs> nah, but at my age, I feel like. 
I wouldn't go no more than six years younger than me. F- five, six years. Nah, probably. Nah, five years is probably six. Six years is the furthest. Six. And and the reason why I say six years is because at that age that I'm thinking of or I'm talking of is a is a a switch that hits and it just hits differently. But my bad. What you about to say? If I was like, say, if I got married, got divorced, and I'm like fifty. I know when I get to 50, I'm still going to try to be on some healthy shit. You feel me? I'm still going to be getting stiffies and shit. <laughs> so it's like, I think I'll go with young, younger, like, uh, maybe not. I don't know. Like Wait, so if, so, so if you 50, you going for a 25? I go for a 25, yo. At 50? Yeah. Oh, this nigga say. <laughs> but no, hold on. But you got to understand. I got to like... <laughs> be married and go through the divorce but i feel like if i was just like say if i was just straight just single and i made it all the way to from 20s that'd be crazy being single all them years but from like 27 like from 20 22 to 50 something 50 let's just say 50 20 mm. like let's say 22 and then i made it to 50 mm. and i just was single all that time like I don't know. I don't think. I don't know. I can't say. You just have to be there. But I don't think I would just settle down. I wouldn't settle down with a, a younger person. A younger like person? Yeah. Nah, I can understand that. But it's just like, all right, fuck it. I got money. I'm old. Well, I'm mm. older, you know. I just got a divorce. Mm. <laughs> or I just been single all my life. Fuck it. Like, nah, I, I feel like. I I feel you on the part about you got to be have be at a point where you go through. Now, actually, no, nah, fuck that. I don't think that's that's the case. I don't think if you went through a marriage or or whatever the case may be is, I don't feel like you that would really put you in a position to do that. I mean, it can it can depend on the person, but I feel like even if I was single from my twenties into my fifties or whatever the case may be, I feel like to an extent. I would have probably. She about to bit. put you onto all the slang that's popping, yeah, nigga. And I, she I feel like I would have probably been on some. I would have probably been on some midlife crisis type of shit. So <laughs> you know, it is what it is. It's natural. It's me taking my natural course of life. It happens. Are you just keeping up with the times? The fuck what you mean? Like I, I got my little shorty. She keep me up. Like I exactly. Like, this is what's saying, like, you and, know? I, and, I, and I may have nieces and nephews that I keep up with them, so, you know. Definitely. Know I know, like, once my little man start getting, like, hip and in tune with stuff, like, and really, like, no, definitely, he gonna definitely put me on and let me know, like, so it's like, I wouldn't even, you always gotta learn from the youngest, the yo, younger people, the younger generation. Nah. And it's, yo, it's funny you say that, because that, that brings me to another thing about how they were talking about how the the um the older niggas be feeling a, a way how the young the younger niggas be trying to act like they arrogant they arrogant and shit. I'm like, you know what? I hear you, but at the same time, if they do if they directing it towards you and they disrespecting you, I can understand that. But if they have a little bit of arrogance, you gotta think about when you was a young nigga at that point. Mm-hmm. You had a little bit of arrogance to you too. Like, niggas couldn't tell you nothing. Like, you was out here making this money, having these gold rope chains and shit like that, and have, having Dapper Dan on the back. Shout out to Dapper Dan. But it's like, you know, y'all niggas was doing the same thing. How y'all gonna be mad at them? Tech shit. Right. Like, so, it's just but, crazy, man. Um, Let me let her go. What happened that time right here? <laughs> Let's move on. I got another one. All right, boom. So shorty, she got like three kids and she divorced the guy. And the guy that she's dating has no kids. <laughs> Does she deserve a hundred percent of his monogamy? First of all, that's a fuckboy ass question, so <laughs> Nah. Nah. <laughs> Does she deserve his his monogamy. No, does he des- does she deserve a hundred percent of his monogamy? Of his monogamy. I mean, if n- nigga, if I mean, 
I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like if you if you knew if you came into this, if you approached Shorty and that remind me of you remember that shit, um Don't be a minute to South Central why if <laughs> Now, if she approach you and I mean, if you approach her and she tell you off the bat that she got three or four kids or whatever, then nigga, you already knew what you getting yourself into. Like, come on, sir. You got to you got to like you, you already know. So like this is it. That's this facts. Is it. Like, come on, sir. Nah, imagine him using that, like, y- yo. Im- wait, imagine as an what? excuse, like, as an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that you know, I have to. I just want to be like the fly on the wall in that argument, like, <laughs> like, bro. Like, you see what I'm doing? I'm taking here <laughs> four, or five of them. <laughs> They're not even mine. <laughs> I just heard about the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> and nigga, that is fucked up, son. That is fucked up. Nah, what's the real shit? Listen, and this this is coming from a reformed, whatever. Th- but but nah, that's fucked up because you you <laughs> really say a reformed whatever. <laughs> like a reformed what, nigga? A reformed fuck boy. That's what it comes from. Okay. That I feel like you can't be sitting here. On some shit like throwing that back in somebody's face, because nigga, you came into this, like you came into this knowing this. Like, come on, son. Like, oh, like what? <laughs> I'm sitting here taking care of Ashtray, Tune, and all. Like, what? No, you may, get out of here. <laughs> you may be a stepdad in your fall. Hey, hey, screaming at step- her or some shit. Like, you may be a stepdaddy of your fool. What? So you've been fucking on me and I ain't been fucking on you this whole time? Oh, wow, God. that's crazy, son. Nah, that's, that's, that's crazy, wild, yo. Um, like, tell you, son. Nigga, I'm not going to hold you. I mean, and I know it sounds crazy, but there's definitely niggas out there that's definitely like that. Nah, yo, and that, that, and, like that. And that's the sad part. That's the sad part, honestly, because I believe you. I believe you, man. So let's put it like this. If a nigga decides to be with a woman that has three child, three children, sorry, and um, was divorced, yeah. how bad is it? Is it bad if he cheats? Is it bad if he cheats? Yeah. I mean the political. Like everything was good in the beginning. Uh huh. And then after a while, when he was in deep, when he was in real deep, mm. the 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 mat, the curtains was pulled back. Like damn, how do I do this? Like, right? He just feel conflicted, you know. If he feel conflicted, then nigga, you gotta have that conversation. You gotta have that conversation with that woman because at the end of the day, and, and and you know what I'm I'm saying this as a person that it ain't never been easy for me to have hard conversations. It ain't never been easy for me to have conv- like real conversations with somebody to tell them like, yo, this may not be it. Like this this is not it. This is not it for us. Like break basically breaking up with somebody. Like that, that's when it. do you feel like it's not it though? Like, I know people go through shit where it's like, all right, this should be it, but it's like, nah, I'm going to give them, you know, I love them, I'm going to give them another chance. So, so when does, for you as a person, like, what can a, a woman do to you that's like, hi right, nah, there's no going back? I I feel like if it's gotten to a point where, my big, my biggest thing is feeling like I'm not being heard in my relationship. Mm-hmm. Like if I feel like I'm not being heard, like I'm saying like this is what I need, this is what I want, blase, blase. Like if I feel like that shit is falling upon deaf ears, nigga. Like that that that's a sure thing to like push me away, like in a different direction. So what are the like? What are like two things you need in a relationship? I mean, just I'm curious. Two two things I would say is I need is 
someone who is good at like communicating Mm because communication is fucking key like seriously like communication is motherfucking is is communication hard for you it can be it can be it can be hard for me in a sense where like to have hard conversations because you because especially when you know how the person may react to what you're going to say to them it's like shit like you you may sometimes may lie Mm-hmm. You you may try to soften up the truth a little bit and omit certain things and it's like damn I don't want to do that because I promise you I I don't think there's anybody out there that lies and feels good about it like I don't think I mean uh, hey <laughs> hey now All right, we don't go there so <laughs> hey now but nah I feel like nah I feel like real talk like speaking from my perspective. Anytime I've lied, ah, yeah, anytime I, I've never felt good about it. Like that's crazy, son. Cause, but, but, but I, I will honestly even say as that, a single nigga. But yeah, when yeah. I lied, it's like, ah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not gonna hold you. Like even, even as a single person, like, nah, real talk. Like, that's man. I don't know, yo. That's how I knew. That's how I knew. Like I, I can, I can get my, I can get in a relationship. Like as a single nigga, I was like, damn, I feel guilty. Like, nah, for real. Sure, I was around the most. Uh, for I real. Fuck somebody else. Nah, uh, yo, remember that shit you was talking about? <laughs> what? That shit in the club. <laughs> you remember? Oh, that that shit a while ago. Okay. But like what? Like it was it was that shit when you was like. You like if if a nigga feel like fat man scoop be on the mic be like on my on my on my niggas down on cheat on they women up in the club mm-hmm. and I I'll, I'll be sitting there waving like oh shit and then I'm like damn yeah right you're a scumbag you're a scumbag because you I lying. couldn't I couldn't no. I don't know it's just like I guess the older you are the mind state the mindset I mean you know and it's just like bro like shit easy like. Uh, you're not even on that like you know what I'm saying like yeah. and and that's the cra- and it, what was crazy is I was talking to a young nigga the other day and I was telling him I was like yo honestly cause, cause he was telling me how I, I don't remember how the conversation came but he was basically telling me how his his ex who, who was a shorty at one point obviously became his his friends with benefits and shit like suddenly now they at a point where they just casual sex and I'm like yo you gotta be careful with that because that was some shorty that you was like tied to like you don't know how her feelings is moving mm-hmm. and at the same time it's like you don't want like you don't want how old is this game. nigga oh this nigga 19 see, yeah, he probably he probably cooked at that yeah, pan like listen yeah, yeah. we're not gonna work out in a nah, relationship right now you already know, know a nigga just we, graduated we, high school and shit like come on benefits son. you know we can mm. teach each other things you know we grow you know what I'm saying like you feel me I get better you get better and then you know at time we can we can get our shit back you know yeah. we can you know but now like I might hurt you you know like but we can still be friends with benefits he you probably mentioned crazy, that like, sir. I've definitely done that shit before so. <laughs> I've definitely done that shit before, so no, that's wild. Because as a young nigga, you're horny, and you're trying to get pussy Yo. no matter what, like, by any means necessary. Like, that's your goal. Like, like, like first, like, it's like when you first got, like, smoke some weed, nigga. It's like, bro, like, being horny when you first got horny, nigga? Like, what? Then when you first got pussy, nigga, what? Like, it just, like... Yeah. I think it's natural. Like, it's nothing wrong with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But. You might as well like that up here. It is, it is. Overall. Oh, no, I ain't going you. The first time I. Ooh. All right, let me not get into that. What? The first time what? First time I got into some pussy? Nigga. I felt like the time. Right, how I old like was you? I, I, I was. It was. Damn. It's crazy. Because I remember the year. It was 2003? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 2003. Oh, 2002. I was like 15 or 16. 
It was it was the year that I was turn it was the year that I turned sixteen. Mm-hmm. So that was I'm trying to calculate my Fresh from high school type shit. That was like yeah, that was two thousand three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. That was two thousand three. Boom. Yeah. No, that's crazy, son. Nah, son, that was uh shout out to my my high school sweetheart. She knows who she is. But she well, ain't gonna see this. No, let me stop. All right. <laughs> So boom, 2015 got some coochie. Mm-hmm. Like, like you nut it quick or like? Oh no, I was quick. I was like seconds, nigga. That was like. Did you use a condom? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. I did. I did. So. Did you go another round? <laughs> Not soon after. Well, actually, nah. Now that I think about it, it was soon after. It, I was like my mom. I was like my nigga Lorenz Tate in Dead Presidents. <laughs> like nah that nigga was going he was going in he was going in mm, he was yeah in, son. so I mean you know nah how about you me I was probably like 14 15 oh shit this nigga was young I don't yeah. think it was seconds like I was fresh in the high school but I don't mm. think it was like seconds it felt like a couple minutes I'm not gonna hold you like mm. Three, five minutes. She hang <laughs> And I was like, this nigga say. Definitely wore the condom. Nah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy how as a young as a young buck, you still you still find yourself being like responsible. Like, nah, son. Cause you hear all this shit around you. Like yeah. I, I feel like in our generation we heard a lot of shit around us. Nigga, we grew up on them videos in health class, yeah. nigga, like that that let us know gonorrhea and all that yeah, shit. And they exactly. showed us the images. So it's like, like yeah. So I, that's how I experienced that's what I went through in school. So that's why I was yo, always scared. Like, nah. Nah, nigga. I would never forget, yo, God bless the dead, Mr. Will's health class. Oh my goodness. This nigga showed us a picture of I, I think it might have been gonorrhea or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Nigga, that shit, whoo boy, that shit was uh. That's what I'm saying, boy. bro. Like that shit just turned me. Oh, I'm just like nah, nigga. I'm not. Y- yo, old. and crazy when you get older and you realize like how rare somebody might have it. Like, mm. like it's out there, but nah. it's just like it's rare, low key. Like, nah, but it's like I still like. I just never understood niggas' asses. Nah. Meet somebody in Smash World. Like, no, so y'all, comfortably. Like. No, nah, it's crazy. I mean, yo, it, it, it happens. I'm not going to hold you. It happens. But I feel like as a young buck, I was old. Oh, nah. And then what's crazy is in, in our school. And I mean, hold on. Because like, I feel like you can have a conversation with somebody or be around. Like, mm. like I right, now if you meet somebody, mm. drew somebody. mm and that's you, that's a little different. Like then it, it might be it, a little bit credible. Nah, and nah, you yeah. Hear a conversation nah. like things like I, right. you could tell like I. Right. Nah, yeah, nah. And you might I, right. you could snipe that with. Oh no, nah, nah, you could snipe that raw. No, no, definitely, mm-hmm. not definitely. Nah, I feel like nah. But and, if it's and, like I, right, you went to the club, show you feeling it. It's like, oh nah, 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 nah. nah, 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 nah. You snipe, you snipe yeah. that raw. Nah. I, I know niggas that have done that. I'm not gonna hold you, but nah, nah, son. It, it there has to be some type of rapport yeah, that yeah. has been built up for that to happen. Definitely, like they they can't they can't mm, 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 mm. just sling the raw nah. the, the raw sausage. Nah, son, because the, and, out and, the club. And and then my thing is she got that club coochie, <clears throat> and you just damn. And then my that's thing, crazy. And then what's crazy is my thing is if you sit if you sit in here. And she's letting you hit first night. Mm-hmm. My nigga, you think that she ain't letting other niggas hit that first night? Facts. Like, you can't come just, on, son. Like, you ain't Trace. <laughs> yeah, like, you ain't the unicorn. What the fuck? Like, you, you ain't the male unicorn. Like, get out of here, son. Come on. Come on. Suddenly, you the one that got the drawers the first night. Mm-hmm. Uh, unless you caught her up, uh, unless you caught her on a bad breakup or some shit. Where she just like fuck it, she just out here and free balling it like just that you know, could so. yeah that could be a possibility yeah nah yeah, yeah like that bad breakup mm-hmm. like she's like oh she caught her nigga chicken cheating she's mm-hmm. like for the tenth time and she's like you know what fuck it she just going all out she's but, just going for the gusto but definitely don't smash her nah so I'm telling you I condone 
safe sex, man. Like for real. Like I, I honestly not. Nah. I've, I've 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 never. My thing is, if you ever are around someone that gets you to a point, like if you dating someone that gets you to a point where you it makes you want to put hands on them, that person is, is not for you, like at all. And mm-hmm. you need to realize that, like, that's just bottom line. Like, I'm not going to hold you. There's one person in particular in my history years ago, many moons ago, where she, but the thing is, going back to her, the thing is, there's some people that knows your red button, mm-hmm. and they'll push that red button. Yeah. And it's like, why would you do that? It's like, why the fuck would you do that? Because you know that this is some shit that may be sensitive for me. Why the fuck would you do that? Mm-hmm. And there's some people that just do that. And she's the only person and ever person that ever got me to that point. I never put hands on her. Mm-hmm. Never. But I had to fucking walk away from her just like did that 180. Like, nah, that was it. Nah, I can't see myself like really beating up a female, like a woman, like my bad. Nah, hell like, no. I just, nah. Like, because growing up, bro, you would hear some of your boys, they'd be on that type of time and it's just like, mm-hmm. you're dead ass. Like, <laughs> Like, come on, like you just like so you just like hitting her like. Nah, but what's like, crazy is this is I, like this is just, 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 just like. She, but what's crazy <laughs> is I knew I knew niggas that was doing this shit in high school. All right, that's that's crazy, son. Niggas was doing this shit in high like, school. Like you definitely son. was seeing your pops hitting your mom. No, 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 no yeah, yeah. Because right. because my my thing to is think as that's a, all right. My thing is as a, as a teenager mm-hmm. for you to think that you smacking a woman is all right. I'm like, damn, nigga. No matter like, what it is that she did or said. Nah, like, for real. There's nothing that teenage, serious. Like, as, as a teenager, there's nothing that serious. No, yeah. There's nothing that serious as a teenager. Nah, nigga. I, I've seen teenagers smack teenagers. And I'm just like, damn, nigga. Like, like, I feel like if a woman is trying to like, violate me, like really like putting hands on me, like yeah. I have to defend myself at mm. this point in time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like but... For you to just be angry, like angry, yeah, nah, for real. You cooked the eggs too much, <laughs> ah, like you feel me, like, like, bro, what is wrong with you, bro? Like, you're doing too much, yo, like, nah, it's true. We can't be friends it's no true. more, like. Oh, it is true, man. Like, but e- even looking at the the younger generation now, when I see these kids on the train. Mm-hmm. They like the abusive love. I've seen niggas sit here and and shake their woman on a fucking like um train door and shit. I'm just like, yeah, T. I'm assuming this is your chick. Like, so I you, fucking like, love you. Why are you playing with me? <laughs> Yo, why are you play? Why are you <laughs> on this train playing with me? Yeah. Like I can see yo, a young dumb nigga like what are you doing like yo they want some blue face and and, and Christian type of shit man like shout out to y'all though sorry but nah bro like nah that's a little I, I don't know bro I don't nah, really pay attention crazy. like when I'm on the train I don't pay attention to these little niggas nah, I, yo, get, I try to get to point A and B that I feel you B and A and I, I will say I ask myself sometimes was I like this and I'm like nah. And nah, and I, and, I, and I and I knew wild niggas. My yeah. thing is, I knew niggas that were like wow, like on some rah rah shit. But they wasn't even moving like that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, y'all niggas is really on some like y'all smoking weed on the train. Like really, my nigga? Like what? Yeah, so that's the platform, the train. That's a little too much. I'm, I'm, not gonna I'm like, yo, you you literally drawing attention to yourself. Niggas didn't draw. Niggas didn't try to draw attention to themselves. Yeah, like that. Now nah, on the train, bro, on the platform, all that. Like I feel like on the platform at night, all the way at the end, mm. you can, you're cool. Like, do what you gotta do. But like, you in the middle of the platform, like just blowing down weed is crazy, bro. Like, in the middle of the day, sometimes it be in the morning when I'm going to work. I'm like, nah, nigga. That's what I'm saying. There's kids out here, like, they're yeah, bugging, like kids with their parents and shit. Like, mm-hmm. come on, so like. Like, yeah, y'all, y'all niggas have. You no, should have like, smoked that before you got on this train platform, man. Like, that's a dead too ass. Much, like, I'm like, man. yo, I I forgot what day it was. This was like a couple of weeks ago. I was on my way to my parents' crib, niggas, and this was in the middle of the fucking dead afternoon, like one thirty or something like that. I on my parents' crib, my parents' crib, and I'm just like, y'all niggas really just gonna smoke this, like. 
broad daylight. Like niggas, and, they, and the train was it wasn't crazy packed, but it was semi packed, mm-hmm. and just smoking weed freely. I'm just like, wow, okay, that's how we moving these days. They think this shit legal, legal, like, <laughs> hey, oh. you can't even smoke cigarettes in the train, nigga. What you doing, man? I'm like, nah, but them niggas is brave. But them niggas is brave, sir. I mean, overall, like, bro, like, they always say that MTA on some shit. MTA is always on some shit, but so what, if you know how to move on a train, like, 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 if a train comes in, all the other fucking carts is packed, mm. and this one pack cart is just empty, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't That's go in it. there. Don't go in there. Because there's a bunch of homeless people. Yeah, right? yup. That shit stank as fuck. And they probably smoking on some shit. Yup. Mm-hmm. Yup, that BD, BD or so whatever. You just gotta shit. know. You just gotta know. Like, you just really, like, MTA is not bad. Like, I, I, I really love MTA. Like, I feel like it's just like a yeah. whole nother world. Yo, and, nah, son. No, the one, the, the moment when I realized MTA was a whole nother world was when I saw motherfuckers in suits and ties. Mm-hmm. Suits and ties jumping the turnstile. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm telling you, I've seen, I've seen white people. Ju- I'm talking about hippie. No, no, not even hippie. I'm talking about Karen mm-hmm. at the mall, going to Fifth Avenue, jumping the turnstile, and I'm just like, damn, son, seriously. Wow, she ain't crazy. got the two seventy five. Yo, her Apple Pay now. That's crazy. <laughs> like you know, hand. and they about to turn that shit up to two ninety. Two ninety, son. Like two ninety is too much. Yo, yeah, you yeah. think niggas is hopping now? <laughs> Watch, yeah. and once they turn up to two ninety, that's when they start coming down on niggas. I'm telling you, they about to get like a couple million in fines. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now, New York City is trying to come back from the pandemic because why all of a sudden y'all niggas put. The twenty four seven cameras on for for the speed cameras, them shits used to work at a certain amount of time. Now it's twenty four seven. I feel like that whole trying to come back from the pandemic is bullshit. They gave niggas a bunch of money, niggas. Stuck it. <laughs> they got it back. That money they got back. So I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They trying to come back from some shit, nigga. Like, like. Wait, I, I got, oh. Is this camera on me? <laughs> yes. That's stupid. <laughs> like, like, like reality. We gotta really like. Yo, I can't say. You feel I me? Can't. I can't. Like nigga. they be saying, like you know, like I be hearing a lot of people saying, with the government. I be, to me it just sounds stupid. It's just like mm. y'all broke, y'all hurting. Nah, that's but facts. Y'all gave us all this money and we spent it. And we spent so it's it. Like, yeah. How? Y'all got it back. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, definitely stop, did. stop the nonsense. Like. Yeah, I definitely did. When it came to them tax time, y'all right. did. Y'all got it back. Y'all fucking lying. Because I still fucking owe oh, y'all. Fucking owe oh, y'all. Like, leave me alone. Facts. That's how you feel. Like, leave me alone. Like, like for but, real. But, nigga, it is. It's like, I always say, the government going to do what they want to do. And niggas can't do nothing about it. Mm-hmm. And if I had a chance to be in that 1% of knowing that knowledge, I would. Yo, you know what's crazy? I was just having a conversation about that a few days ago. Like, yo, why motherfuckers don't... Like, they have this platform. And they, they have the the, the, um, the connection to that 1%. And they have this platform and they choose not to use it. Like, how do you I mean, if I, not to if use I was it? in the 1%, I'm not telling niggas nothing. <laughs> fuck See, even, damn, even close man, people I, to me. I thought it was me. Nah, I, I'm going to tell motherfuckers. I ain't, gonna, I ain't going to tell. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm, I'm going to tell motherfuckers. Nah, if it's some shit. Nah. If it's some shit like I, I know. Mm. I have family members, members that might get affected by it. I'll put them on subliminally. You know, like, you know, like uh, not really trying to tell them, but like, yo, listen, I wouldn't advise you to, you know. Mm. Da, 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 you feel me? Like, mm. shit like that. But, nah, bro. You and not. You getting that? That means you you in there. That's how. That. I I'm in a club like. Nah, I feel I'm you. I'm privileged to to know this this information. Um, nah, I'm privileged to know this information. So mm. at the end of the day, I understand there might be people that need to hear this, but it's just not down. 
Mm. Like, I would understand it. I wouldn't be on some like, nah, yeah, I need yeah. to expose these niggas, like, you know. Wait, so you you saying that if they get it, if they gave the disclaimer to disclaimer, be like, yeah, I mean if they gave it a disclaimer that if they on some crazy shit or mm. on some wicked, I wouldn't join. <laughs> you feel me, like? No, I feel you. But if it's like, I, right, I'm gonna try and get to know the knowledge of, you feel me. What's going on, like, just to know the truth, like, that's what I, like, fuck all what everybody assumes, and, like, what's the truth, like, I know y'all, I know y'all know, y'all got the technology, mm. you know what I'm saying, like, I know y'all out here time traveling, I know y'all out here doing, doing, I know y'all cloning, like, I know y'all doing shit, like, so it's like, mm. I want, well, you know what I mean, I mean, take that back, I don't know for sure, but. I got a big assumption that y'all are, and y'all have this technology because it's like, come on now. like. Mm. And if I was in their shoes and I had this technology, I'm not telling the masses, fuck the masses, nigga. Like, mm. what the fuck is a regular nigga that work at Kmart? I don't even know if Kmart's still around. A, a fucking regular nigga that work at Walmart about to do with a cloning machine. I mean... No. Wait, so you ain't gonna tell... You ain't, wait, so if you knew the... What was going on behind the scenes with the machine? You wouldn't tell the the the, the, the little nigga. I wouldn't tell nobody if it's classified information. I'm not, yeah. and they let me in on the clap. No, so how, I want to know so more I, classified so, so, shit. So, wait, so I oh, I was about to ask you that. So how are you gonna have it work to your advantage? Ain't no advantage. Like I'm in that one percent. Niggas fuck with me. I got money. <laughs> you feel me? I got money, nigga. Like niggas, I got peoples. I got connections. You feel me? I'm loyal. They telling me this information. I ain't snitching or exposing. I just want to know. Like, damn, y'all really kill Kennedy? Like <laughs> for real? Like, damn. Nah, fuck out of here. Not just Kennedy. MLK, yo. I want to know what's Rest going on. Peace. You feel me? I know damn, what's but why? On, like, you feel me? Malcolm like, X. Yes, you feel me. We like, need answers, Fred Hampton. We need answers see, too. They're not gonna let you in. You talking like that? They're not gonna <laughs> let you in, bro. Like it's like you. It's like I know you like you. You need answers, but it's like <laughs> that type of temperature. They're not gonna let you in. Like you feel me? Like I just feel it. Like I wouldn't so, let you in if I was. Just, I had the decision. Like so, so I should stop that, Kennedy. I mean, hey, like you know, like. It depends on why you want to know this information. <laughs> I'm just real life curious. Like I don't even do, I don't want to expose nothing. I just want to know like why? Like what was y'all planning? Like uh, did y'all succeed? Like what's the benefits? Like what is your benefits in y'all eyes? Like you feel me? Like mm. cuz you got to think about like these niggas got big ass decisions like mm. Overpopulation is something that's true. Like it's it's cool. We gotta control the population. Like as crazy as it sounds, like mm-hmm. you know. But it's like people look at it like, no, the government is trying to kill us and this and that. And mm-hmm. it's just like, no, it's nah, true. If projections is right, nigga, we gonna be too much people on this earth. Like, yeah, nah, it's facts. It's like it's facts, yo. But you know. Like I said, if I had a chance to be in the one percent, mm-hmm. I'm down, and I'm not telling niggas I don't really care if it's my household. Like I'm sorry, uh, so I, I work as a carpenter. <laughs> nah, I ain't going with you, son. Like I feel like y'all. I don't know, son. It's a part of me just had this social. I feel like I have a social obligation to tell motherfuckers. Well, it'll be motherfuckers in my close circle, like you know, niggas like. Really in a, in a circle, but I ain't gonna just say out here like on social media, just like oh, blase blase. Get my wife cleared so I could tell her like, listen, yeah. is she valid? Like, like homies, yeah. like yeah, it's like can I get my wife? I, I just I, come on, that's my wife, man. I yeah. gotta talk to her. I gotta <laughs> let her know like the shit I'm going through and no, like, you know what I'm saying? This is like, deep shit. Yeah, nah, that ass Get her cleared, like yo, babe. <laughs> like nah, close per close people in your circle. Like, but, you gotta think, bro. Like, different earths. Mm-hmm. Like, is where are we in this dome? Like, the theory says, like, yo, is it a flat earth or a round earth? Man, is this a simulation? 
like all types of shit. It's like it's like you know what I'm saying. Like I'm curious, but it's like I just feel like life is bigger than what everybody think it is, and they it's, gonna make the assumptions. You feel it's, like, man, it's a lot and everything's though. here for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. So it's like you it's, know, it's a lot, man. Like it's it's a lot because, bro, there's a lot of shit out here that we don't know what's going on. Yeah. Think about it, like. But I realize it all depends on on the spot you go to. If it's a hood spot, you gonna yeah. expect some shit. Jackie got a nigga hot. <laughs> <laughs> nah, if it, if it's a hood spot, it's gonna be some 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 shit. Nah, alright man, we've been recording for a little minute, bro. Oh, we're about to make it to like an hour and a half. Oh damn! So let's just you know end it. That was some good conversation. Yes. You know, there's so, still more topics. You already know. You know, if everything went according to plan, we would have been able to get all of them out. But, you know, we just going to do this one little episode, you know. Bullet, bullet, day. bullet. But, <laughs> we taking shots. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm singing again. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, like, niggas got to get it done. We got yeah. it done. And it's not impersonal, you know, but yeah, man. um yeah, and man. shout out to Plant Daddy. Shout so it's, out it's to not Plant it's not really Plant Daddy. The shirt is originated by Soil underscore vibes. Yeah. Soil Vibes is the name of the business. Mm-hmm. Four seventy eight Jersey Avenue in Staten Island. Okay. They just had a grand opening. Okay. Two weeks ago, go to the website. No, no, it's not. Go to the Instagram. Mm -hmm. Soil, S O I L underscore vibes, V I B E S. Mm -hmm. You'll find it. All right. Dope vibes, plant vibes, cafe vibes, all of that. And the owner is a special woman. She is. Getting that money. Right. Entrepreneur, you feel me? Yeah, you so go. you feel plant me? That's daddy. what it is. Go, go, plant daddy. Listen, there like, go. here we go. This right here yeah. is the 13th episode of the 2020 podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning back. Yes. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting, commenting, watching, sharing, whatever you do. You do what you do. Um, this right here is your host, Rojo, and this is my guest host, Uncle Kells. You already know. And yeah, you know, R.I.P. my nigga Ken Dog. Free my nigga Double O. Free my nigga 17. Today out the nasty. Thank you for tuning in. See you next week.